The following is a production of New Mexico State University. Gardeners all over the Southwest are selecting more and more xeric plants to create unique and water-wise landscapes. Today we're back in the Colorado Springs Xeriscape Demonstration Garden where Valerie Club Conservation Specialist will introduce us to a variety of beautiful xeric plants. Some will be more appropriate for high mountain areas and some for low-lying desert areas. Valerie gardeners here in the Southwest have to realize how diverse, how varied and extreme this gardening climate is. We range from high mountain plants down to low desert plants. You've got a pretty good collection here. We do. We've got a lot that'll go even higher up than what we are right now, such as the uh, the carrageena, the pea shrub, which has mm -hmm. a beautiful yellow broom, bloom on it. Um, the, the burr oak is mm -hmm. a very sturdy tree. We've got uh, the three-leaf sumac, which is a wonderful shrub. And it comes down pretty far into lower elevations, too. Yes, it does. Too. Yes, it does. Wonderful fall color. And then we've got, as we come down the slope here, we see some of the wildflowers that we might see in the southwest, penstemons, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the grasses. Mm -hmm. Yes, we've tried to incorporate a lot of different uh, ornamental grasses because of their mm -hmm. value in the winter. And artemisia, with yes. one form of the sagebrush. Yeah, the blue color is wonderful. And as we come further down, we see some ground cover plants. Yeah, the, the soapwort, the saponaria. This mm -hmm. is really our, our ground cover kind of uh, a, a demonstration area. We've got the soft landing thyme, which has mm -hmm. been a wonderful thyme, and a couple of different kinds of veronica that give us a lot of color. Um, a really striking show yeah. of penstemon in here. We also have, I don't know if you noticed, the, the dwarf rabbit brush, oh, I didn't which catch is that a little one. Two, feet, two foot tall one, so and it's really appropriate for this area. And as you go further down into the low desert, rubber rabbit brush is one of the common plants. In fact, sometimes called chamisa. Yes. As we come down out of the mountains, then we leave the Ponderosa forest behind, and the spruce are far above that, and we come into the pignon forest, yes, pignons and pignons. junipers. And the big western sage, okay, you can yeah. see, and the lower artemisias here, mm -hmm. and don't forget the choyas, oh, they're very yeah. popular even as high up as we are. And when they bloom, they're beautiful, but when Absolutely. you step on them, they hurt. They hurt. <laughs> yuccas, another one you want to watch. Lots of yuccas, yes. They're beautiful. They've bloomed a lot this year. It's beautiful. And we're down to the rubber rabbit brush. Yes, lots of rabbit brush. And this is really a, a wonderful thing that we have in our garden. It turns They're the whole garden gold in the beautiful. fall, doesn't it? Just beautiful. And as you go further down, then you go into the low desert. And you've got some representatives of that here as well. Mm -hmm. The low desert is the realm of the cacti. You'll see some yucca and other things as well. But that's really where we think of the cacti. Absolutely. But we don't want to confuse the cactus and the rocks with zero scape. Right, this is still zero scape. Yes, it is. If you had only cactus and rocks, you might have a true zero, zero scape. scape. Yes. But if you bring the native plants in, mm -hmm. add to them some adapted plants, absolutely, some design and put together mm -hmm. the principles mm -hmm. of zero scape, you've got mm -hmm. a zero scape. And the lowest water using zero scape, yes. the most water wise. And We've got uh, uh, the Holodiscus demosis rock spray, mm -hmm. which is very pretty with the little little soft peach color flowers. Yes. Um, the patchy plume is a beautiful plant, all four seasons. Both of these are natives. Absolutely, yeah. And uh, some ornamental grasses, the blue mm -hmm. avena is right. very pretty. You've got the woods rose, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is in the forest, but comes down to yes. lower elevations yes. with very little water. And does very well wherever it goes. And then some non-native but adapted plants you can use, the mm -hmm. lilac, yes. the hawthorns. Yes. You've got the Philadelphus, the mock oranges. Mock oranges are beautiful. They're in bloom right now. And you had the amorphas, mm -hmm. the false Red. indigos. Mm -hmm. So there's so many things you can bring in and design it properly. Absolutely. You'll have a landscape that looks good, uses relatively little water, but yeah. is easy yeah. to take care a of. True zero scape, yes. And if yes. people want to know more about that, this is open. Absolutely, we're open all the time. If you want some of our paperwork, we're open from eight to five during the week. But the garden's always open, and it's beautiful at sunset and at dawn and every time in between. And you've got a website. We do. It's uh, csu.org. Valerie, thanks for showing us very, around. Very welcome. It was my pleasure. The preceding was a production of New Mexico State University. The views and opinions in this program are those of the author and do not necessarily represent the views and opinions of the NMSU Board of Regents.